All right, dudes, I have to... Ooh, man, I just got through so much work. They Customers even wanted me to come in on my day off to do some last-minute Christmas shit for them, and I... No, sorry. <laughs> so, I'm relaxing. Finally got a ton of sleep. Feeling better. My God. But I did just um, watch a... Halo Infinite video from someone who actually isn't a fucking idiot. And, uh, yeah. It was a good video. Criticizing 343, talking about how Halo Infinite hasn't gotten much better since it first launched, and how 343 sucks. And, yeah. Um, good video. Um, the guy's name is, uh, the King... Kingerd? The Kingerd! King Nerd, whatever. Uh, but yeah, he seems like a decent guy. So go check his stuff out. Um, but yeah, he did a video on Halo Infinite and how they suck and how they don't give a split screen and stuff. So yeah, good video. But it got me thinking and I came up with an epic rant <laughs> for how I feel about 343 right now. So I'm just going to go off real quick. Um, yeah, uh, this guy's video is really good. He says what needs to be done. No more microtransactions, all right? No more. Enough is enough. Bye. Bye-bye. Charge a price for the game if you have to. I don't give a fuck. Get rid of the microtransactions. Nobody likes that shit. Unless you're a fucking idiot. Now, make it playable offline. Duh. Duh, the internet isn't reliable. The internet sucks. Having your shit permanently tethered to the internet? Fuck that shit. And a lot of games make patches that fucking suck dick, dude. That make the game objectively worse and more boring. They fucking do. A lot of the time when a game comes out, it's fucking badass. And then some fucking whiny little bitch won't stop bitching to the developers. Eh, change this. I don't like this. <laughs> and then they crack and they fucking make the gun that was super badass all of a sudden suck ass now. They do that shit so much now in games. It's terrible. How are you guys okay with that? That they can just take your game the way that you like it and make it worse. Change it. Just, uh, you, yeah, man. If you're okay with that, you just go along with that. You're a cuck. You're a simp. You're a bitch. You're a sheep. You're someone to be used and tossed away. It's so fucked up. Don't be such a dumb victim like that. Like, oh, God. It's so annoying, people like that. They just take it up the ass. My God. So anyway. Um, yeah, make it playable offline. Duh. <laughs> uh, split screen. Yes, Halo is not Halo without split screen. The couch co-op experience. The couch LAN party multiplayer PvP experience. It doesn't exist anymore because of you assholes. Like, what the fuck? That is how you enjoy Halo at its fucking very best. Everybody knows that. Or if you're smart, you should know that. Uh, yeah. So without it, this whole franchise is objectively worse. And you cucks promised to deliver it, and you failed miserably, because you were lying. Because you're a, a bunch of fucking assholes at 343. The place sucks. Majority of people working there are fucking dickheads, clearly. Uh, at least the ones that matter the most when it comes to getting this finished game out there, they never get the game finished, I swear to God. They just launch unfinished trash all the fucking time. That's what 343 does. Ooh. Like, don't get me wrong. You can argue that Bungie Halo games were somewhat unfinished, like Halo 2, for example, but uh, there are degrees, and clearly the degrees are a lot more extreme in the case of 343. Like... Oh my goodness. And another thing, uh, the story, can, can Halo Infinite, can you guys patch in a story that has an actual ending? <laughs> you know, like, can you guys actually do that for me? Because the ending that I got with Halo Infinite was he still has to kill some more dudes on the ring somewhere. There's still more dudes on the ring to kill that we haven't killed yet. We've been killing dudes on the ring, but there's still more to kill, dude. So, keep killing dudes on the ring. That's the story. Like, dude, there's no satisfying ending here. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> this is just microtransaction hogwash. Keep playing so we can try to flash you with 
things that we can sucker you into buying with microtransaction cash. That's that's all it is. It's fucking lazy. It's fucking stupid. The story is dumb and bad. Ugh. Yeah. It blows. They got some decent voice actors. <laughs> but uh, the writing is shit. Nothing happens. So why don't you give us a story where something does? That's That's what I'm saying, you know? How about that? So, yeah, what else? What was I going to say? Oh, yeah, and, it, and could it kill you idiots at 343 to make the Halo games play like Halo instead of Call of Duty? You're always adopting Call of Duty elements into the game, and it's always mostly a negative. It, it, it is. Let's get real, you know? E even Bungie's Halo Reach somewhat dabbled in COD-like gameplay with stuff like Sprint and Bloom. They didn't do it to the degree that new 343 games are doing it, though, at least. But it still mostly sucked then, and it definitely fucking sucks ass now. So, stop doing that shit. Make Halo play like Halo. Make Call of Duty play like Call of Duty. Stop mixing the two games together to the point where it's all trash, okay? Don't do that. That's been a thing for a while now. All these sci-fi Call of Duty games and all these... Uh, bro -y sprint around the corner, you know, fucking uh, Halo games. Like, this sucks, dude. And it, uh, it, it like, objectively sucks. It's not really an opinion-based matter. It's like, like, look at the numbers, the people playing the Bungie Halo games back in the day. Those numbers were high as fuck compared to what we're seeing now, you know? Like, yikes. You just see a lot more people bitching now than you did back then. Like, Clearly, things got worse for most people, and anyway. Like, it's it's hard to get into the mindset of a 343 fanboy who genuinely thinks that this is better than what we got in 2007, you know? Like, uh, I think y'all are lying to yourselves. I think you're being assholes. You're trying to troll people. I, you're being stupid. It's a combo of one of those things, or all of those things. Who cares? But, yeah, not good. So... Yeah. And uh, lastly, can you guys at 343 update the game to where you don't cause all kinds of fucking problems? I heard with the new Firefight update, there's all kinds of stupid shit that happens and shouldn't be happening. So, yeah. Will 343 listen to someone reasonable like me who's simply asking for Halo games being made today to rival the quality of the Halo games made by Bungie from years of 2001 to 2010-ish around th those times? Uh, that's all I'm asking for. And clearly that's too much to ask for. They're not going to listen to an asshole like me. Um... The 343, these are the people that made us go from sleepovers at our at our, our best friend's houses, uh, staying up all night at LAN parties, playing Halo games during the golden age of gaming, okay? That's what we went from to now, which is laughing at joke memes about Craig the Brute, okay? That's, that's the jump. That's what we were, and now this is what we are, okay? So it's over, okay? Clearly, Halo is fucking dead. Um, it, 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 at least compared to what it was back in years like 2007, for example. So you just got to give it up, okay, Halo simps? And, and I say this as one of the biggest Halo fanboys of all time. It, it's over, okay? It's over. It's been over for like 15 fucking years. I wish I wasn't saying this negative shit, but I got to be real with you, you know? And I... I'm just like all you guys, saying that I want it to be better, but, uh, you know, the difference between you and me is I know it won't get better, you know? Not with this corporate, hyper-capitalist Microsoft that we have to work with today. No way, dude. <sighs> at least not, at least not grand, grand scheme of things, bigger picture themes kind of levels of better. No, we're not going to see that. 343 won't ever come close to doing what Bungie Halo games did, Okay. Like, like, take Halo 1, for example. It evolved shooters. N nothing was cut quite like that game at the time. The physics, the weapon balance, the golden triangle of combat was born between melee guns and, and grenades, you know, uh, fucking vehicles done right in a shooting game for the first time. We had a good, uh, good music, you know, good, good storytelling. 
The co-op experience is a must-play experience for the epic campaign. The pistol in that game is... Uh, step aside, Doom BFG. You're trash. The Halo 1 pistol is what the fuck is up. And that shotgun in Halo 1? Jesus, that's a fun weapon to use. Hang them high, you know? Blood Gulch, all the fun land party multiplayer. This is one of the best fucking games ever made, dude. Halo 1 is a legend. Fucking Halo 2? It, Halo 2 made online online console shooting games. It did. It fucking did. You're welcome, Call of Duty. You're welcome, Fortnite. You're welcome, all this trash that we have today that sucks by comparison. You're welcome. Without Halo 2, you'd be nothing. Halo 3, arguably the best Halo game and probably the best online competitive shooter ever made. So, yeah, 343 is never going to top that shit let's get real so just just give it up just give it up guys just give it up